video. So I just got in, did a little self-care this morning. I uh, went and got my nails done. I went blue this time, kind of tribal-ish design because my red set that I had I had that for quite a long time like over a month <laughs> and it was just time to get my nails done and refreshed and nice and you know new got my feet done as well went to the grocery store I also went to an Indian grocery store because I had to get some more of this this wag <laughs> bakri that's the brand name masala chai I love using that to make my chai lattes. That's all I use. It turns out so good. Literally better than going to a coffee shop. It's just, it tastes so good. So I always have to have this. I was running really low. So got two containers of that. I got some aloe vera. Mm -mm -mm. Aloe vera, very good for the skin. That's what I'm planning to use this for. And then I just got some garlic. That's about it for the Indian grocery store. And then from the regular market, I just picked up a few things that we needed, like peanut butter, we needed some cashews, we needed some, what else did I get? <laughs> Baking soda, like random stuff I had to get. So now I'm back home. I don't know what's up with me, but lately when I wake up, I'm not hungry. So I find myself eating my first meal towards the middle of the day. So anyway, yeah, I've worked up quite an appetite by now though. And I'm gonna make my chickpea omelet. I have been eating this chickpea veggie omelet for the past month, like literally every single day I'm obsessed with it I'm hooked on it I don't know why I just don't want anything else for my first meal of the day I'm gonna switch it up soon and eat some other things but right now I'm just in this cycle of that's all I'm wanting and I actually made it in one of my recent I believe it's a vlog one of my recent vlogs and a lot of you asked me about it like how to make it step by step and I feel like I did a step by step in a what I ate in a day video or what I ate in a week video you know a while back I'm not a hundred percent sure but I feel like I did but but either way, if I didn't or if you missed it, I'm gonna show you now how I make it. It's really, really easy. So let's get the ingredients. Let's whip it up, cause I'm starving. All right. I did a little shopping yesterday and I have kind of like a haul. I wanted to show you what I got. I am actually in the process of totally revamping my wardrobe because I've noticed that lately I just haven't been myself. Like I haven't been dressing up like usual. I haven't been putting the effort like I normally would into my outfits and my appearance and stuff like that. I still put effort into my appearance, but not at the level of what <laughs> I usually would just because you know postpartum time is very busy so that kind of gets put on the back burner sometimes but I know that I really do feel my best when I feel like I look good when I feel like I have on a nice outfit when I feel put together as far as appearance goes so I was like you know what I really need to get back to myself I really need to start doing just a little bit extra so you know I have that extra pep in my step and I feel just better on a day-to-day -day. the other day I went I was in like the school pickup line and my outfit like my appearance just wasn't the best and you know how when you don't feel like you look that good <laughs> and so you kind of slouch and you hope not many people see you and that was when I realized okay Kim we got to tighten up because that's just how my higher self 
carries herself, okay? You know, just maintaining that upkeep, keeping my hair done, keeping my nails done, really elevates my mood, really elevates my energy level. So I think that's important because I feel like it's so easy to lose yourself in a sense when you are a new mother or you have a, a baby or in my case, two babies. It's really easy to kind of let yourself go. So yeah, anyway, long story short, I got a few things from a di couple different places. First up, got some peaches, peaches. <laughs> Got some pieces from H&M. This jacket, this olive green jacket, it kind of reminded me of a bellman at a hotel. <laughs> but I really like the structure of it. It has a really strong shoulder with shoulder pads, this little pocket, it's a faux pocket. Buttons up, it's kind of like bomber slash hotel bellhop-esque. But yeah, I like this. I thought it would be a great layering piece. It's very, very well made, it looks like. And this was $57.99. Got this dress and when I saw it, it just screamed tea, like a high tea. Going to a high tea and y'all, I went to a high tea for the first time. Was it my first time going to a high tea? Maybe my first or second time. I might have gone to a high tea one time prior, but y'all, I went to a high tea last year in Vegas. Fun fact, I did a video on, like a vlog video on my baby moon trip, but I didn't even realize that I had went on a baby moon trip prior to that. I went to Vegas. That was like my mother's day slash baby moon trip present. So I went to Vegas before that Paris trip, but we went to a high tea in Vegas at the, was it at the W Hotel? I believe it was. I highly recommend it if you are ever in Vegas and you want to do something something that feels a little fancy. It was such a nice vibe. They had vegan options for me as well, which I appreciated. You could have those little finger sandwiches and cookies and little cakes, have your tea. It was just so, so relaxing and I felt like a real adult, you know? But yeah, this dress kind of made me feel like that. Like it put me in the mind of that. It has some florals, black, and it's just like a pencil dress and it has a slit in the front. And this dress was $67.99. The last thing I got from H&M is this tote bag. I thought it was super chic looking. It reminds me of the Christian Dior tote bags, but of course this was way less expensive. It doesn't have a way to close the large part, but it does have a smaller zipper compartment there. And it's mostly cream with a little black. I like the pattern. And then I got two pairs of sneakers because these days I'm not wearing much heels usually running errands doing this that and the third and i'm not really going mostly on a day-to-day -day basis i'm not going places where you know i'm wearing heels and i'm getting super dressed up but i wanted to get some sneakers so that when i am running around i still look super cute because i have been living in my like dad sandals but i was like i need some more like everyday casual footwear i need something that's going to be comfortable something that's going to be stylish and that's going to go with a lot of different outfits went to foot locker and got a pair of Pumas. This is what it says. Super cute. And they also, I feel, go very well with this new tote bag I got. And then I also went to Adidas. This is what the box says. Yo, I don't know what it is, but they smell so good. They smell like vanilla. <laughs> but I love the colorway on them. And I thought that they would just be really good running around shoes. They look super comfy. All right, so here I am with the Adidas sneakers on. I feel like I could just open my front door and run out and do like five miles in these sneakers because they are just uber, uber comfortable. But yeah, I just decided to go with a monochromatic look with this cream action. And I could do my new H&M tote bag with this. This goes really well. Or I really like this bag with it. This is Christian Dior. I believe it's called the Medium Lady D-Light bag. I actually got this bag on my trip to Vegas last year and I really love the print on it. Just screams spring and summer and I think it goes really well with this. It kind of brings out the green accents in the sneakers, introduces that print and that color. It's kind of a conversation piece and it really just helps to elevate this look a lot just so it's not super plain. So for me, this is a really great running errands look. I could also wear these sneakers and shorts with my new H&M jacket. So I just switched out the sweater for this thin cropped shirt. Really easy way to have a three piece look, just throw on a jacket or a blazer. And when you wear three pieces, you always look super chic, super put together which is why I always love whenever I can putting on a third layer again I could also just use my H&M tote as well with this super interchangeable very versatile pieces which I love you can go a bit more dressy with this by pairing with some wide leg pants and then I just have on a little tank top underneath the jacket braided bag from Amazon and for footwear I just have on these boots and again of course the bags we could do the H&M tote 
and the Dior bag goes great. I'm just getting like so inspired y'all with these new pieces because I'm coming up with so many different outfit ideas. Yay! I'm getting excited. <laughs> I want to like go out somewhere now. I think I will. And then I'm able to do this urban cool vibe by switching out the pants. Cargo jeans, these I got recently from H&M. Everything else is the same, same bag, same boots, but it's a totally different feel with just changing out one article of clothing. So that's pretty cool. I think this would be a really nice shopping outfit, really nice lunch outfit, going to the movies, just going out around town during the day. Super cute, super chill, but elevated with the boots and the bag. And I love this jacket again. <laughs> and then here I go with the Pumas. I just love the look of these shoes. I think they look super fashionable and elegant, but in a sporty kind of way. I just like the silhouette of this shoe. Again, I paired it with my new H&M jacket. I have one of these faux leather shorts I got from Revolve, my new H&M tote bag. And to me, this outfit is giving girl around town. I'm just running around, I'm just doing my thing. You know, that type of vibe. All right, a little bit more of a laid back look with the Puma sneakers. So I just paired them with these wide leg sweatpants I got recently from Pretty Little Thing. And by the way, y'all, these are so cozy. I love the silhouette because it's not like just a regular sweatpant where they come in at the bottom. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. And I wear these all the time now. I have a black men's t-shirt from French Connection and this one is giving like understated luxury because I have a couple of more high-end pieces like the jacket and the bag but you know really chill with the sweatpants um and this is giving best dressed parent in the pickup line. That's what I'm going for so <laughs> I love it and these sneakers are pretty comfortable as well. They're not as comfortable as the Adidas ones because the Adidas sneakers I felt like I'm walking on clouds when I put them on. These aren't as comfortable as those but they are still uber comfortable. I see myself walking around, running around in these all day with no issues. So yeah, that's this look. And then here is the H&M dress. Super, super cute. I love this dress. I love the poofs on the sleeves with the exposed shoulder action, the prints on it, the little split in the front. It's just everything. I feel like I need to go to brunch now with some good music, great ambiance, nice conversation, spectacular view. Like this is what this dress is giving me right now and I'm here for it. Just paired it with my braided bag from Amazon. These strappy heels from Charlotte Bruce, I believe. But yeah, you don't need to do much with this. Keep it really simple. And then I also ordered a few outfits for just lounging around the house, but they haven't come yet. They are supposed to arrive today. Ordered them from Amazon. But yeah, I got some house clothes because I feel like even when you're in the house, even when you're just chilling, it's important to still look put together. So like right now I have on this three piece set, you know, super cozy, comfortable, very chill, but I still feel a little luxurious because I have one like a real <laughs> outfit, like outfit. So I am excited about my new loungewear and I am a homebody through and through. I spend a lot of time at home. We are going to romanticize this life. So that's what I'm doing now. I have um, gone through so many things, pulled so many things out of my closet to make room for the new and I'm doing a lot of donating. So yeah, that's where we're at. I really love of letting things go. Y'all know I don't like having a bunch of stuff. Like I don't like accumulating a bunch of stuff. It gets overwhelming once it reaches a certain point. So yeah, out with the old, in with the new, and we are romanticizing our life. Mm -hmm. And then I'm finally, finally, finally getting around to wrapping up this glam room. Oh my goodness, long overdue. So as you can see, this is the area of concern. This couch area here, because I just feel like it looks so bare and just not enough pizzazz right there. Like, ugh. So I have decided to do an exit wall and paint this wall right there. Got my supplies here. So I'm gonna do like a lime wash effect. So I went to Lowe's and I got this paint. This is the color that it is. I believe, I have two samples here, but I believe it's it's this one right here. I got it in 70% strength, and this is what the card says. So I just got one quart of this. I got a six piece painting kit. Also got a paint brush. Actually got two paint brushes, plastic drop cloth. What is this? A wall and trim brush, okay, got that. And I got some painter's tape. So I'm gonna do that. I'll probably do it tomorrow. I don't feel like painting this wall today, but it's definitely gonna get done this week. And I'm only gonna be doing my 
If you can see this little curved wall here, I'm just gonna be doing that wall right behind the couch. And then I'm gonna accentuate with some little decor pieces here and I think I'll be done. Fingers crossed this turns out good because then I can move on to other things and put this behind me. I'm pretty confident it'll turn out well and I really do think that this taupe color is gonna bring some more warmth. Warmth, that's a hard word to say, isn't it? Warmth, <laughs> what kind of word is that? Um, yeah, it'll bring that into this room and just kind of make it feel more cozy and inviting. So yeah, stay tuned. morning several days later i am actually um parked i'm just sitting here waiting um because i have an appointment to get my hair done because y'all see yeah <laughs> blow dried my hair this morning and i just put them in these two little buns because i'm going to be getting just some stitch braids let me turn this music all the way off and i'm trying to decide do i want five or six usually i get six so it's even on both sides i think i'm going to stick with that because i know that works so yeah i'm going to be braided up for the week and that'll be really good so i don't have to worry about doing my hair or anything just brush my edges in place and i can go because i have um a busy week ahead it's monday this week is going to be really busy should be really fun though but yeah so i decided let me go get my hair braided so i don't have to you know think about my hair one less thing off my plate one less thing off my to-do list and i can wake up looking put together and not you know all over the place so yeah i'm waiting because i'm a little bit early it is like 30 minutes before my appointment time i'm probably gonna go into the place maybe in about 15 minutes so yeah right now i'm just chilling i brought some water and i got some peanuts <laughs> Cause I didn't really have time to make a proper breakfast. So I haven't eaten anything this morning and I knew I was gonna be hungry and I knew I didn't wanna try to get something from a fast food place like some hash browns. Usually when I do that, I'm desperate because I'm really hungry and I stop and I always regret it. Like my stomach, it just does not agree with me. It just makes me feel icky inside. So I was like, let me plan ahead, take some peanuts. This will hold me over till I get back home and I can eat a proper meal. So that's what i'm doing right now just waiting for a little bit closer to my appointment time to go in i'm sure this won't take long because i'm just getting six braids so yeah i'll holler at y'all in a bit once my hair is all done and i'm all cute and everything call you back <laughs> 
Hey y'all, I am done getting my hair braided. I feel like I can see myself think right now because <laughs> they're so tight. It's a new person. She's never done my hair before. I've gone to this shop a couple times. You guys have seen me when I've gone there. I've done vlogs and stuff. But this person today, I had never seen her before, but she did my hair. She did a pretty good job. I kind of like the last girl better, but this is cool. This is good. Thank you, ma'am. But anyway, right now I'm about to head over to a couple shops. I need to try to find find some decor stuff for my glam room so I can wrap that up. So I'm gonna pop over to Crate and Barrel, see what I can find there. Always love going in Crate and Barrel because it's just a vibe. I love going into home decor places like that. Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn, Restoration Hardware, like all those places, it's my jam. And then I'm also gonna go to Williams Sonoma because I have a gift card. Another place I love to go, Williams Sonoma. I just love seeing all the knickknacks. And Williams Sonoma to me, is like Target is to some people because you know how they say I'm gonna go in Target and let it speak to me and tell me what I need that's how I am in Williams Sonoma I just go in there and I just browse through all the stuff see what jumps out to me yeah I just love doing that so yeah I'm gonna do that and then I'll probably just head back home Unfortunately, I didn't look up at Crate and Barrel. I thought I would find something that jumped out at me, but I didn't this trip, which is unusual. I don't know, but I did find two things that I picked up from William Sonoma. So first I got this apron, just a red apron, it says William Sonoma on the front. Cause we already have a red and white apron and that's actually the only apron that we have. And my five-year-old son, he actually loves to cook. Right now, he is into making his own pizzas. So we've been doing that a lot. So we just need another apron so we can get our like chef on in the kitchen and look legit. He really likes wearing an apron and I've been just putting mine on him. But I was like, you need your own apron. So I got this red one and then I got this. I thought it was <laughs> just, first of all, the bottle. It's so nice, look at that. It's like, um, what is it, Maker's Mark or something? That liquor with the little thing on it. That's what it reminded me of. It's 100% pure maple syrup, bourbon barrel natural. And I just had to try it. So we'll see how this tastes. I love maple syrup. I use it in so many things. And um, this looked interesting. It looked like something that I would like. But that was all I got from William Sonoma this trip. I really didn't find much. Hmm. And I also took one of these catalogs. This is a wedding guide. But I just love thumbing through home decor catalogs or like home goods catalogs because they are just so nice. Look, stuff like this makes me want to get a pasta maker. <laughs> really inspires me and makes me want to make my own pasta and just do all the things you know it's just so nice to look through and get new ideas see what is out there look at this pizza oven yeah i've been hearing a lot about this pizza oven it's super cute oh and i never did show y'all the outcome of the accent wall that i did so let's do a reveal and check it out okay <laughs> so Da, 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 da. This is how the wall turned out, guys. On camera, it actually looks really cute. I mean, in person, it looks cute too. <laughs> so look at how I look with it in the background. I feel like it makes this room pop and it makes like my background pop more because it's not so flat and white and it just adds some more dimension. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I was kind of undecided about it at first. I was like, uh, do I even like it? But now that I look at it more and more, I think I really do like it. Yeah. I mean, y'all let me know. What do you think? Does it look out of place? Does it look like random? That's the only thing. I think it might look a little random. Like, oh, it's a room and then bam, just this little piece of wall <laughs> painted. So that's my only concern is does it go? You know? And then I just put this plant right here. It's on this little stand. I got the stand from, I believe I got it from Amazon. This little pot, I got it from Home Goods. Real eucalyptus. Y'all, when I walk into this room, it smells so good because of the eucalyptus. Mm, it just smells so fresh. Let me pan out a little bit. So that's kind of what, I mean, it kind of matches with my basket here, right? And with the flooring. 
I do have to clean up that top part because it's not as precise as I would like it. So I will fix that. So y'all let me know what you think about this, this accent wall. Do we love it? Are we on the fence? Do we not like it so much? Hmm. Way in below. I do love like the variation in the wall. Like it looks like it has some movement and some texture to it. So I really do love that, the gradient effect. I ran into some issues with trying to do this lime wash thing. And um, so I had to improvise and that is how it turned out. I actually think it came out really good, especially for my first time trying to do something like this. But I think I like it. I think I like it. It's gonna stay for a while, possibly. <laughs> also, I wanted to show y'all my clothing rack so here is my clothing rack of the pieces that you guys just saw those outfits that i just modeled for you i have them all here because obviously i just wore them in the house i didn't wear them out yet so they are back on the rack because these are my outfits these are my looks of the week or my looks of whenever i need to get dressed i have decided i'm gonna pre-plan my outfits and put them on this rack so whenever i need to go somewhere whenever i need to do something i don't have to think too much even if i'm running low on time i can just come in here pick an outfit that's already ready to go already pieced together i know it works and i'll be set so i think that's going to help me especially on a day-to-day -day when i am just like doing so many things and sometimes putting together a nice outfit falls by the wayside because i don't <laughs> have the mental energy to do it but this takes the guesswork out of it and it's just going to help me stay on track with what i was telling y'all that i need to be on my game that's how i'm going to keep it cute and just having outfits ready to go like this it makes me want to go out it makes me want to do more it makes me want to be more active and things like that so this dress i already know i'm gonna be wearing this soon yeah i'm just making sure that i have a nice mix of clothes for any situation so i have some stuff for everyday wear running errands things that i'm usually doing i also like to go out to eat a couple times a week well not a couple times a week but like you know maybe once a week sometimes twice so i have some outfits for going out to eat if i want to go on a little date excursion i have that and looking through some of my recent purchases y'all i realized i'm really into shades of green right now green and cream <laughs> green and cream is i mean apparently my thing right now as you can see green and cream so <laughs> that's what time i'm on so yeah that's the plan pre-picking my outfits take the guesswork out of it i can have them all ready to go and i know i'm gonna always be chic and put together quick face of the day just did my makeup because i just filmed a separate video that'll probably be up before this one <laughs> but yeah y'all can y'all believe it is hold on let me what time is it where's my where's my phone hold on hold on okay can y'all believe, look at that, it is 2.47 p.m. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I have not eaten one thing today. I've not eaten anything except a handful of peanuts this morning, what? So let me go fix something to eat because this is ridiculous. Let's, let's go eat. All right, so I'm gonna whip up one of these homemade black bean burgers. I'm not using a bun. I'm actually just gonna use this carb balance tortilla. I'm gonna use it as like a wrap. I really like this. It's only two grams of net carbs per serving. And personally, to me, this tastes exactly like a regular tortilla, but you know, with less net carbs, which is what I need right now because I'm on my slim down. I got my burger and I just threw a couple fries in the air fryer. Mmm. So good. 